The question was, how do we communicate with the house mothers? Do they speak English? Um, yes, English has been a second language in Uganda, an official language for a number of years. So if they have gone to school, they know English, or they're learning English uh, when they come into Atenawa starting at first grade. The mothers come from all over. We have a mother from Kenya, we have mothers from different African um, nations, and so they don't all speak Luo either, but they do speak English, however, it might be somewhat basic. Um, Otinawa has a church of a thousand members that affects the community. So we're not just about Otinawa, we're about reaching the community for Christ. And our people that come in, they may walk 12 miles across the swamp, they have not been educated, and they don't speak English. But what I find amazing is that God allows us to communicate through love. So these little ladies that come in that are from very rural places, um, I give them a hug. They give me a hug. We dance together because they are, they are very uh, they, they, they're demonstrative in their worship. So we dance together. We sing together. Um, I'm just repeating what I know, what I can hear. But they say, you sing our songs. And so it's a communication of the heart. So the weeks that we preach in the church, we would use a translator. But in the, in the country of Uganda, there's actually 26 different languages. So the fact that English is a national language, it's important that we help the local people um, learn English as well as that we would want to further our uh, knowledge of their language as well, their heart language. Because certainly as you get into the Word of God, when it's communicated in your heart language, it means so much more. It resonates so deep. So this morning would be Buddha Bath. Good morning. <laughs> how are you? 